Hi guys, thanks for uh, joining us again. Um, tonight we're going to carry on with rudiments. Um, we've done the paradiddle um, a couple of weeks ago. Last week we did the paradiddle diddle, and now we're moving on um, to looking at a couple of basic roll exercises. Okay, these are the sort of staple um, staple bread and butter of our playing. Yeah. Okay. If you think about the rudiments as being the alphabet. You need word. You need letters to make words. You need words to make sentences. You need sentences to make phrases. You need phrases to make, you know, paragraphs and paragraphs, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, until we've got a full story. Okay. So that's the most important part. All right. That w this is why we're doing it. I mean, a lot of people kind of switch off when you go. Let's do some rudiments. <coughs> really, really important stuff. Really important stuff. So we need to, you know, you need to get down with your rudiments and get on. It's not the be all and end all of everything. Okay. But they're certainly going to help with your creativity. Okay. So as normal. Questions are going to come straight in, um, down the right hand side of the video player, um, send your questions through, they come straight through to me here, um, and then we can answer those, they can be anything related to, you know, what we're talking about, or anything from a, a previous lesson that you've seen. The members area, um, at the moment now, which, you know, is the 16th of November 2011, I just need to make that clear so that people don't think it's forever, is open, um, it, there's a guest password gone, gone round, you can look in the members area, you can see all the archives and things, just to get some interest so you can actually see what's in there. I've been promoting it now, um, <coughs> but obviously I'm aware that you can't see inside there until you register. So I've opened it up for a couple of days um, so that you can get in there and have a look around and see what, you know, the difference between the member area and the pay-as-you-go area. Okay, so it's open at the minute. So, you know, anybody who's watching it now in the members area is probably doing so on the guest username. Okay, so, you know, get your questions in and make the most of it while you can. So it's open until tomorrow, which will be the 17th of November 2011. All right, so if you watch this in six months' time, you know, that, that, that thing will have passed. Okay, so tonight we're going to look at five strokes and nine strokes. Okay, we're going to look at five strokes and nine stroke rolls. Okay, that's the most important thing that we're going to do tonight, all right? So a five stroke being right, right, left, left, right. Right, right, left, left, right. Left, left, right, right, left. Okay? So that's the important bit, yeah? Right, right, left, left, right. Left, left, right, left. Yeah? Yeah? Each one of those, starting on the beat. Slow tempo. So that's the five stroke. Right, right, left, left, right. Left, left, right, right, left. Yeah, important that we try and get that as even as we can. And letting the sticks do the work. Yeah. So you don't try and play every nut. Yeah, because that's what you're going to, you're going to really, really lumpy double. Yeah. So that's the five stroke. Okay, so you can play that, you know, on the beat of 16 notes. One E and a two, three E and a four. One E and a two, three E and a four. One E and a two, three E and a four. One E and a two, three E and a four. One E and a two, three E and a four. One E and a two, three E and a four. One E and a two, three E and a four. One E and a two, three E and a four. One E and a two, three E and a four. Okay, so that's the five stroke, yeah? <laughs> so to start with, we could. Just think about putting it on the kit, yeah, and just just we'll just play it on the snare drum to start with, yeah, um, and just see what that sounds like. Okay, so again, we're going to do exactly the same as what we normally do, which is start basic and move through to some more complex, you know, some more complex patterns for the more advanced guys on there. Because what we try and do is rather than going like like you know like some other people do is go, this is an advanced lesson. I just want everybody to get something out of each lesson. So that's whether you've been playing six weeks or you know, 60 years, hopefully we're going to kind of cross that and, and, and get something that everybody can, can relate to, all right? Okay, so here we go. These are five strokes. with a little 
little bit of groove. Okay, I played an eighth note one in there for some reason, no idea why. Okay, um, through that I just kept the the hi hat, just kept the hi hat pumping through just in eighth notes. Okay, so it just gives you that point of reference. One e and the two, three e and the four, one e and the two, three e and the four. Okay, gives you that reference point. Okay, so the first thing you could do is start to move the accent then. You'll notice there what I was doing, I was actually playing a lot of them right handed. Yeah? One. So otherwise you end up kind of going the wrong way, but you know, it's good to be able to play them both ways. Yeah? So you can just mess with that. I'll turn that up a little bit in speed so you can see what that sounds like. So it's just a really simple idea that we're just messing with a little bit just to see you know where we can take it okay as most things are that we work on most of the things that we do are really really simple okay really really simple the simplest idea right right left left right that's as easy as it is yeah okay so let's now think about putting it into groove yeah I see a lot of people playing like a funk groove with a, <laughs> a double thing underneath on the snare, maybe as a grace note, but there's no definition in there. Okay, there's absolutely no definition in there. So, okay, so what you can play is the five stroke, right, right, left, left, right. Okay, I'll show you that slow. So it's just linking back into that bar. Obviously, you're not going to play it every time. It's going to get a little bit too monotonous, but it's just linking back in, and that's exactly the same from the ride. So again, just nice and slowly, yeah? And then you can really kind of work on, once you've got the basics of it down, you've got a little bit of speed out of it. You can really work on 
kind of putting it into your plea, you know, in, in quite a big way. All right, so let's just run some ideas based around this five, and then I'm going to show you how to kind of get it to work in sort of a R&B kind of hip hop kind of style group. Okay. So it really is just a case of messing and messing and messing with it, okay? <laughs> just get it up, start basic, and then gradually start to build that up, okay? So start really basic with it, gradually build, okay? That's the key to it all, all right? So thinking about that, in putting that in the same place, yeah, we could now leave it on the higher. So in the same place as it was on the snare, we're now on the higher. So it's the same place. One, two, three, four, and one. Two, three, and four, and one. Two, three, and four, and one. Two, three, and four, one. Okay, so the same place now sounds a little bit different. And again, with a six, sort of sixteenth note groove. Sounds really nice, yeah? It's sort of that, that R&B kind of hip hop feel. Okay, so it, we've pretty much worked on one idea so far, and we got quite a lot from it. Okay, so that's the key. That's the key. One year, yeah, just getting that, just getting the basics on the pad or on the snare drum. So we got some nice flow. Letting the sticks and the drums do the work, or the sticks and the pad. Okay, and then just trying to mess with it and just incorporating it into your playing, okay? <laughs> and this is the same as what we've done with everything else. As I said before, really simple idea, just being quite creative with it. I'm just showing you a load and load of ideas, okay? But the key to it is to get it there first, okay? If you don't get it there, it's not going to work here. Don't try and cut corners, yeah? Don't try and think, oh, yeah, I've got it now. I'll, I'll play it really fast on here. It's not going to work, yeah? It's not going to work, okay? So that's the kind of thing that you can play with it, all right? The other thing you can do with it is split it. Now, this is a bit, little bit more advanced if you need a bit of foot with it, yeah? Is to play right, right, foot, foot, left. Still a 5-4. 
five struck. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah? Still a five struck. The nine, the nine actually works a lot, a lot better there, okay? But it is possible to split that. And again, that's just working on hand and foot doubles. Yeah, one foot, okay? So, you know, it's still possible to do that. If you want to play, you can play two foot if you wanted, yeah, but it's a good idea to just work on one foot. Okay, so it's a good idea just to work on that one foot. All right, good. So that's kind of basic ideas for the five. Again, this video is going to be in the archive for the members area so that you can go back and, and check it and check over it as many times as you want. All right, so it's not, you know, we, we, we go through quite a lot in a lesson but it's there for you to recap over. Okay, as long as you're a full pay member, you get in there and you can look over them and watch them as many times as you want. You can pause a little bit or you know rewind a little bit as much as you want to, okay? So that's, you know, you can get that, yeah? Okay, so let's look at the nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm sure most of you know what that is. Again, it's the same thing, you know, with a groove. And two, and one, and two, and one, and two, and one, and two, and coming back on count four. One, starting on count three, coming back on four. One. Okay, so it's again quite simple. So again, same idea. Right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right. Okay, and it's the same thing. Putting it, you know, just mixing it in, mixing and matching it up, putting it in different places, moving it around the kit, yeah, and making it just sound really, really nice. Okay, let's show you some ideas.
Okay, so relatively straight, simple, but straightforward. Okay, um, what we've got to do is think about the way that we're playing it. Okay, we split that between the hands and the feet. We split it between the riding and the hats. We split it all over the place. Yeah, the, the same idea applies. Yeah, it's very, 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 very simple. Okay, get the beats the same with anything that I've talked about before. Fives. Yeah, get the idea, but try and put it into your groove, try and put it into your fills, try and split it between your hands and your feet, yeah, and it will all start to come together, yeah, it will all start to come together, yeah, it's really straightforward, guys, just keep thinking and keep thinking creatively, okay, just keep thinking creatively and the whole, all your playing will change, yeah, if you sit down and think, oh, do you know what, I, I don't have any ideas, yeah, then you're going to sit down, you're going to end up with no ideas because you've already told yourself that you've got no ideas, yeah? Sit down and think, right, I'm going to work on this today and I'm going to come up with loads of ideas. Get some positivity in your playing and the whole thing feels better and it all starts to come together and, you, and you'll soon, before you know it, you're going to be playing some stuff that you never thought you'd be able to play. It just takes a lot of practice and a lot of thinking differently, okay? That's what it takes, a lot of practice and a lot of thinking differently, okay, to get the flow and start moving things around the kit. That's just simple five strokes and nine strokes. Just move around the kit, put in a 16th note groove, yeah, put in an eighth note groove, split between the hands and the feet, moving the accent, yeah, playing it all one-handed, playing it hand to hand on the fives, yeah. The world, you know, the, the world's gonna become such an easier place for you to play in if you just get your creative head thinking. So just have a mess with it, yeah. Have a mess with the 16th note, with the fives and nines in the different grooves around the kit in fills and split and you know and really see what you can come up with and then post your videos back in the members area okay yeah and then you know we never know yeah somebody might see that and think you know i've got a gig that i want i can put you on to the gig yeah i'm asked all the time i can put you on to gigs um because i'm asked all the time if i want to do it or if i've got a student that can do it if i can see you playing then you know you've got more chance of of me being able to pass some work on to you okay so that's good, guys. Uh, obviously, very shy tonight with the. Uh, I know there's quite a few people on. We're obviously shy with uh, questions, okay? Uh, which is happening more and more at the minute. Um, you know, we're getting quite a lot of people. There's a lot of members now. We're over a hundred members, um, and the questions are getting very thin. So whether you're sort of looking at them afterwards, or I don't really know, okay? But make sure that you get your questions in. A um, little bit of a shorter lesson tonight because we've kind of covered what we needed to cover. It's a very basic idea: fives and nines. Work it on the pad. Put it on the snare. Start to move it a little bit, put it into your groove, yeah, split it. Dead easy, guys. Dead easy. Okay? So, thanks for watching again. I will see you uh, next time. Keep checking the schedule. The members area is open till tomorrow, the 17th, okay? And then, uh, and then we'll keep going from there. All right. Thanks, guys.